Pettis in the red gloves, blue gloves for the fearless Alfred. Six straight first round knockouts for Kashaki. Not only six straight, he's got 11 out of his 11 wins, all by knockout, Mike. He said, my power will be the difference. I did notice, though, is that Alfred doesn't move his head offline when he throws his punches. So now, just like that, it's a beautiful counter by Sergio. And this is the, you know, just talking about this, we were saying Sergio needs to get past this first round. He needs to get through the power that Alfred's going to come after him with and just be the matador. Don't worry about when he comes at you. Just take your angles, use footwork to get you to use counters, get your shots in when they come, and then just start turning it off. I said it from the beginning, though, too, that Pettis, he can wrestle, and he likes to have the transition. You see it from guys out of his camp, Mayo Sanchez, now Anthony Pettis is also working a lot with his ground game and his ground game as well. You see it from guys from that camp. So if he can actually, like I said earlier, is press off into the fence, get him to use a little bit of muscle and strength and blow up those arms a little bit, or slow just a slight bit down his, comp his punches and combinations. It's also one of the things that you want to do is, if he's got a big right hand, bring that left leg kick up to that arm and hit that arm around that shoulder, bicep, tricep area, and just start to make it heavy. You also want to throw that head kick also too to make him sure, make sure he stays loyal to that. And then later on in the fight, go to the body. Because if you know he's keeping that right hand up, check his head, keeping it cocked, and he's in the body's open a little bit more. One of the things you're really seeing out of Sergio though, look, watch what he does with his head. Little tiny movements, and as Alfred comes in, he'll make little tiny adjustments, just an inch and a half, two inches to one side or the other does not keep his head down the center line when he throws his hands or when that shot is coming his way, he doesn't just dip his head back. Likes the slip and rip the second degree black belt in Taekwondo. The Pettis family has two gyms in Milwaukee and of course, one of the greatest head coaches that Chael was referring to, Duke Rufus. Rufus Sport was an incredible team in Milwaukee. You got Harley Davidson, you got Rufus Moore. Those are the two biggest things I can do. Oh, shit! Just! He's in the It's going to be over. And it's going to be finished right here. Oh, 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 he's going to be finished. This fight is done. Alfred is not going to get out of that choke either. Alfred is trapped. No way to stop it. He's out. 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 that right on cue when we talked to him at the fighter meetings he said look i train with emmanuel sanchez who's one of our featherweights he trains with his brother he's used to bigger guys bigger guys that punch hard bigger guys that press the pace he showed it very calm and casual and collected. Just did a wonderful job. The counter, look at the head movement and watch the hand come straight over. Boom! That right hand just starches him. Kashanyan tries to come back, but he just is not really there. And then the arm kind of gets trapped behind him. Watch the right hand. Boom! Right on the button. Here's real speed, watch how fast. Boom, watch that shot land. And he just starts jackhammering with that right hand. Goes to the rear naked choke, I'm sorry, the guillotine choke. And it is over at that point. You see the leg is trapping the arm and he goes unconscious right there. Karshakian thought he had rocked him a little bit because he stayed down low after he grazed his head. When he stayed in that position, thinking if he popped up, I was going to land a punch with the uppercut. He went for the uppercut, hesitation, that is a beautiful combination.